This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. But there's lots of speculation about what's going to be in the egg. The first time we, uh, <laughs> we heard the rumor in the observer, it was that it would be King Kong Bundy returning, which I have to admit would have been quite the fucking visual. The idea that King Bundy, Kong Bundy, Bundy, every time you go to the bank and cash a check, you're stealing money. Bundy, you go out there and you flip flop and you lay there like a piece of shit, 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 shit like a big old jellyfish in the middle of the ring Monday you're the drizzling shit you cash a check you're stealing money from this company Bundy there was <laughs> something a little later in the observer this is directly from the observer and it's written everyone seems to think mean Mark who at the time was of course in WCW will be hatched out of the egg on Thanksgiving and be called Eggman thankfully he was not Eggman he was the Undertaker and history was made and, and again, again, 100% fabricated bullshit, just made up lies from King Kong Bundy to Mean Mark being the egg man to Ric Flair coming out of the egg to there was one, there was another one that, that they had that, uh, oh, 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 this was a great one that. Andre was going to come out of the egg as, you know, it was a giant egg that would hatch a giant. So completely false from day one, very beginning, the egg was the copy cooker. I love the way you say that from day one. No, nothing in between. There was never, hey, it could be this guy. It could be that guy. We could do this. could be that. It was Cubby Cooker from the beginning right. to be a mascot, uh, kind of like the San Diego chicken. Right. So um, Dave, as usual, 100%, 10,000% completely wrong, fabricated, just Okay, we Make got up. Still, He's still making up shit. Let's talk about the report in this area. Coco Beware had some sort of fight in a Holiday Inn bar in San Francisco on Saturday night, and he sent home from the tour. He would miss Sacramento and Fresno. Jerry Monty would substitute for him. And Meltzer would say, no word if it's long-term. And you've told us before that what really gets Coco the axe is a fight overseas. Was Coco just a hothead? What can you tell us about Coco and his temper that Seems to make the news with fights here and there. See, I never knew Coco to be a hothead. I, now, I say he's not a hothead, but Coco was a ballsy son of a bitch, and Coco wouldn't take shit from anybody. Coco wasn't the biggest guy in the room, but I dare say I'd put him at the top of the toughest guys in the room. So I, I think that sometimes people looked at Coco as uh, smaller or shorter in stature, but he more than made up <laughs> for it with his toughness. So I, I just think that Coco was the kind of guy from my experience that he had to get pushed pretty damn far to fight. But when he did, you better look out because he will whip your ass. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.